All right, let's get loopy. We are on lesson 11, the draw loop. Uh, I'm on bubble two right now. All right, run the code and see how it works. All right, so we've got these circles or ellipses being drawn everywhere. Ooh. Okay, so what's happening? We have no stroke, meaning there's not going to be an outline on whatever we're using for this fill here, C green. And then we've got this function draw, and that's the loop, right? So that's what's going to happen over and over and over again. So what's going to happen over and over and over again is an ellipse is going to be created, and the location for the X is going to be somewhere between 0 and 400. And we look at this, right? Remember, 0 is here, 400 is here, 0, 400. So that they're basically saying all over the board, ellipses are going to be drawn over and over and over again with this function. And that's it. Okay. So here we have it again. Whoa. There we have it again. And they want us to make orange ellipses as well. So all we have to do is basically copy this and change it from green to orange. So we're going to go to drawing. And we're going to get a fill. And then we're going to get an ellipse. And then we're going to get our randos. Drop it in here. Drop it in here. And then we want to get rid of these ones, right? So we just go click, click. All right. So now we need to change this for, to 0, 0400. 0, 400. 0, 400, and it's yellow right now, so we'll just go ahead and do that. But if we want to, we can change it to orange as well. And that's it. So again, we have no stroke on our ellipses or on any of our drawings. And then over and over and over again with this loop, we're going to draw a green ellipse from 0 to 400, uh, x 0 to 400, y. And then they're going to draw a, an orange ellipse, 0 to 400, 0 to 400. And then they're just going to keep repeating it over and over and over and over again. Okay. This is a weird one. So we look at the code. No strokes. There's not going to be anything on the, on the, um, the, uh, anything we draw. And then we have our background being blue. Our fill color, our fill color being yellow. And then we have our function, the draw, so the loop, right? Where the background is going to be red, the ellipses are going to be between 0 and 400, 0 and 400. And it's going to uh, drop these yellow ellipses everywhere. So I'm not exactly sure why they even bothered with this blue background. Because you don't see it. And when you run the function, it never shows. Yeah, I don't know why they did that, but whatever. So what's going on here, again, background red over and over and over again, and then they're dropping in that ellipse. 0, 400, 0, 400. Now, check it out. The background is blue, so behind this red is blue, but in the function, every single time, it's making the background red, right? So it's running the red background and then dropping in this 
ellipse that's yellow over and over again. But again, not sure why they put the blue, but whatever. Okay, change the sprite properties in the draw loop. You can animate your characters. Run the code, see how it works. Okay, so we have our sprite being created at 100, 200, and it's a green alien. And then we have our loop here where the background is going to be orange. The sprite is going to rotate from negative 10 to po positive 10 right so it's gonna like be in different spots over and over and over again so it makes it look like it's moving but really it's just being drawn over and over and over again and if we want to change this we could change it to whatever negative 30 30 and then it should be just going like wider and there it is. He looks like he's spazzing out. Okay. The animation is already updating one sprite X property to make it look like it's shaking. Okay. So they want us to make the other one move as well. Alright, so when we look at the code. We have our sprite, the pencil sprite created, the brush sprite created, and then our loop function, background white, pencil has a random number between 0 and 110, or 100 and 110. So it's constantly getting uh, looped over and over again, right? It's being placed somewhere between 100 and 110, and the brush is at a static 300 where it's not just staying at 300. So all we have to do is transfer, change the uh, 300 to a random number, and that'll be it. So we'll go to our math, drop in our rando, and let's make it 50 to 500, or 50 to 90. And there we go. It's chaos. If we wanted it to be over here, we just go show grid, and we can do it at like 300 by 250, 300, and 250, 300, 250. There you go. And remember, with this you got the pencil is the X, so we're talking about the X axis, X, going uh, across left to right. Right. We got one little alien animating Add code to make the other one shake, just like the first one. Alright, so let's look at the code. Here we have our green alien rotation. So now let's get our pink alien rotation. Alright. If we wanted to, we can go through all this, right? Drop this in here. And drop in our sprite rotation. And drop in our random number. And change this to pink alien. And then copy these numbers, negative 5 to 5. And it works right. Or, if we wanted to go cheater style easy, 
show text. We can just copy this whole line of text right here. Paste it. And then just change this to pink. And it does the exact same thing, right? Whoa, sorry. So it does the same thing. So you can do it either way. If you understand, you know, how to do it, just copy and paste. It's all good. Debug blurry sprite. Okay, that looks crazy. Run the program to see the bug. Use the clues to try to find the bug. Once you found it, fix the program so it shakes like the image on the right. All right, so this one is kind of wacky. What's going on here is we have our, our loop, right? And inside the loop, we're creating the sprite a bunch of times. See, because it's the, the creation of the sprite is looped over and over and over again. So we want to get this out. So the sprite is created one time, and then it's being moved, rather than just being created and moved every single time. So it's a, just a simple change, but makes a big difference. And that's it. So again, you want to create this sprite outside of the uh, the loop. Okay. This bubbly sprite should have multiple frames and animations that repeat, but it stops immediately. Alright, so when I run it, it starts making the bubbles and it just freezes up. So this is a multi-frame animation. So make sure and add a background block to start the draw of your loop, otherwise it will look like the sprite isn't moving since all the frames will be on top of each other. So let's go ahead and get a background. Reset it. And there we go. Right, so what's happening here is it's got to draw in that background over and over and over again as well. And that's it. Sprite not moving. Run it. And this one we have our sprite created. And then we have our um, loop. But our draw sprites wraps up, finishes right here, right? So it creates it, and then that's the end of the sprites. But we have two more things going on here. So what we need to do is move this. Here, I, I hope. Set, run it, and there we go. So just make sure your draw sprites is at the, in the draw function when you have uh, changes going on. Okay. Updating the properties. This level is very similar to the last, but this time you'll add the draw loop yourself. Add the draw loop to the bottom. Okay, so here's our draw loop. And then let's go ahead and drop these in there. Reset. And it doesn't work. Nice. Oh! Duh, 
it doesn't work because we don't have any math in there. So we'll get our sprite called salt and we'll go from, I don't know, what, 200 to 210, right, we're on the, so we're on the Y, let's reset, there we go. And that's it. So I put in my function, my background. I added the random number on Y, so it's going to redraw over and over again somewhere between 200 and 210 on the Y axis. And then the draw sprite. OK, extend the scene. I want you to update it and put a loop in. So here's my antelope and my goat. And I want to put in a loop. So let's go ahead and drop in a loop. Loop to loop. And then let's see what we're going to do here. Variables. And sprites, rotation, and then some math, negative 10 to 10, and let's grab this draw sprites and put it in there, and see what happens. That's crazy. All right, let's go ahead and do the other one. So I'm just going to copy this code, paste it. Go to the blocks. And change this to sprite one. And now what I'm going to do is add the blue background so it redraws the blue background every single time so that it doesn't have this uh, weirdness. And hopefully that works. Okay, reset, cross our fingers. It doesn't work. Well, this works, but we lost our text. So what we have to do here is drop our text in the loop as well. Get rid of this draw sprite. Okay, that's good. Now we'll drop our text in here after the draw sprite. Reset, run it, and there we go. Okay, that was it.